variable rates over 6.7%. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your Stein of coffee because, well, home loan rates continue to go up, all the banks are lifting them higher. And this one here, we're starting to see variable rates over 6%, over 6.7% if you go interest only, guys. It's, it's getting really high. This is going to have an impact on a lot of people. And honestly, I think we'll see it manifest in the well, discretionary spending, we're all going to become cheap, everyone. We are all going to become cheap. We're going to have to. So let's let's have a look at this. This is from Bank West, and, well, it's happening a bit, a bit early. So on Tuesday, the 5th of July, 2022, the RBA announced its third consecutive increase to the cash rate, increasing from 0.85% to 1.35%. And I will bring up my chart here because I've not had to use it for so long. I'm going to milk the chart now. There you go, guys. You can see it's gone up. Now, 3% was considered an emergency rate. And the reason I say that, I was reading probably a couple of years now, uh, years ago now, an article about housing affordability and how they're saying we've got rates down at you know, 3% is considered emergency. It gives us room to go down if we have to. And we're in an emergency now. So this, you know, this has been an emergency period. That's why these rates have been insanely low. So they're starting to creep up to normal rates, like, like what we used to have in the past. You know, I'm excited. We might actually, it might actually be worth paying attention to the interest you earn on cash. Could you imagine that actually earning, earning like 5% interest? Wow. Anyway, hopefully without having to jump through 50 bloody hoops. So in response, our standard variable rate for home loans both acquisition and existing, will increase by 0.5%, effective Friday the 15th of July 2022. These changes apply to owner-occupier and investor rates. So you're seeing here owner-occupiers, current rate is 5.5, it's up to 6%, a 50 basis point increase. Interest only, owner-occupiers is from 5.85 to 6.35, a 50 basis point increase. Investors, from 6.15 up to 6.65, another 50 basis point increase. And then investors interest only, from 6.28 up to 6.78, a 50 basis point increase, guys. 6.78 for interest only investors. Now, that's that's an interesting one because uh, there's another video I did about an a investor, 22-year-old. He wants to look at going to interest only for a period, you know, to weather the storm. But, I mean, there you go, guys. Is interest only a good thing in a declining market? So let's check, look at these numbers. I mean, here we go. Look, they've got a warning because this is for brokers. We understand that this latest increase may cause concern for you and your customers. We're here to help with up-to-date information and support on all these things. If you're experiencing financial hardship, there are going to be people here that will be ringing brokers that are desperate. One thing I would talk to your broker about it would be locking in uh, rates, but I mean these are these are uh, variables, so it doesn't really matter. There you go. So let's um, jump over and play with the Excel file to have a look at some of these impacts. So let's say we're going from owner occupiers five point five to six percent, okay, and we're doing uh, this is the average price five point five to six point zero. That's a 5% increase in your mortgage repayments of you know, $167 a month. So you're going from just under three grand to you know, $3,160. let us look at the, this with the average New South Wales property price, everyone, of 708 or sorry, average mortgage in New South Wales, not property price. Sorry, guys, it's not the property in New South Wales. There you're talking 250 bucks a month extra. So, I mean... These figures, these are decent amounts of coin that you're going to have to find, another $250 a month. If you're right at the edge already, it's going to be difficult. Victoria, $200 a month extra that they're spending. Oh, wait, that $527 was Queensland. WA, the average of $471. That's another $150 a month you've got to find. Another $150. But let's say, you know what, um, equals, is this going to work? 
Yes, I'll accept that. Okay, there we go. Hang on. That's the average. I know we really should be looking at the medium, but for now, this is fine. So say you've got the, the average of these numbers, and you're at 1.99, and you jump off it and go to 6%, uh, you're looking at a 60% increase. And you're going, oh, yeah. I mean, that. hopefully you would not wind up in this situation. Hopefully you'll be able to renegotiate to get a better, better deal. But the problem is, what if you're in a negative equity situation or your income situation has changed, you can no longer meet the serviceability requirements for these loans? Because once again, they're changing all the rules. So they've juiced up the market. They've really juiced it up. They've put the interest rates at rock bottom. There's meant to be a 3% buffer there for people. You know, you're meant to be able to handle 3% higher rates. Okay. You know, I mean, this this is phenomenal. I never, I never expected to be paying mortgage rates with a one in front of it. I one, Once I saw that, I thought, okay, we got to lock in. This is going to be unusual. This will not last. And that's part of the reason why we locked in. And we wanted some certainty, but there's going to be people that are going to get in trouble. Let's let's have a look at that. Say you've you've got the average mortgage in New South Wales, which even these numbers are just the average. Some people are a lot higher, guys. Some people have borrowed like a million bucks on a place. Can you imagine how hard it would be to you know, if you're a couple both working, servicing such a big mortgage, and you want to start a family, and you know the wife wants to step back from working because they want to spend time with the kids. When you've got a noose around your neck like this, a $700,000 mortgage, you don't have as many options. You may be stuck doing the luxurious job, working six figures, all the stress. When you borrow less and you've got more freedom, I mean, shit, that, that leads to a lot more happiness, guys. It leads to more options. You might actually be able to, you know, say you got even a, a Northern Territory mortgage. I mean, look here, it's 1800 bucks increase going from that to that. I, I'm sure that won't happen, but for some people it might. Say you're in the Northern Territory, 426000 You're Even there, you're looking at two and a half grand. It's, that's still a $980 increase. We go 5.5. You know, two and a half grand, you've got more chance of actually being able to service this on one income and ha- or maybe having the missus at home working part-time, raising the kids, having some flexibility, or even, you know, let's not be sexist, you could be a stay-at-home dad. You know, I'm sure that's the dream for a lot of blokes wanting to do that. But if you've got so much a debt noose around your bloody neck of a, a huge mortgage, those options aren't going to be on the table. So th- there's going to be a lot of long-term consequences to this insane housing increase that we've got here in Australia. A lot of social consequences, to be honest. Anyway, guys, there we have it. So let's uh, well, talk about this. Where's the top? How high are these rates going to go? Now, for those of you watching the channel, you should be preparing for this, okay? If you're in a fixed you know, holiday honeymoon period, be stacking the cash, building reserves, get some passive income coming in. I mean, this example here. We're looking at a $135 increase here to the mortgage. So, I mean, if you can find a passive income to generate that $150 a month extra to offset that, you know, what if you bought some non-financial advice, some monthly EFTs or shares? You know, they can just help offset these increased costs. Hey, it's something to think about, guys. It's something to plan. We've got time to plan and prepare for this. Anyway. What do you reckon, guys? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in this, and I'll see you in the next episode of Heiser Says. If you enjoy the content I create here, there are a few ways you can help out. You can financially support us via YouTube or Patreon. Use our referral links, buy our pocket squares, or call us if you need an architect. Take care, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Hopefully rates won't be going up even more, but there you go. That's good cheap coffee, guys. It's good cheap coffee.